and we are back thank you so very much for staying with us and in case you're just joining us you are right on time for our gold conversation and today we will be talking about how do we properly manage electronic waste and to shed more light on that we do have the pleasure of being joined by Joyce Ruto who is the manager at we center now their core mandate is managing e-waste for a safe environment thank you so much for making time to be with us today on the program and also making sure that you come with props that help us understand what exactly we are talking about when we mention e-waste. Karibu sana Kenya's Gold. Thank you so much for having me. Uh -huh. uh, Santa sana Joyce Chalanga Ruto. Karibu sana kwa kipindi chetu. Uh, swali la kwanza tu mbalo linajitokeza na ningependa niko curious sana ni nini hiyo inakusukuma wa moyo US tutashughulikia na kwanza wewe ni jinsia ya kike hii kitu ni aina kama maboy lakini wewe umeamua kuingia okay um, electronic waste as it has been mentioned is the fastest growing waste stream actually globally mm -hmm. because of the advancement of technology mm -hmm. um, annually right now we produce close to 60 million tons uh, of e-waste globally and Kenya actually produces close to 53.6 uh, metric tons of e-waste mm -hmm. annually and this is about to grow actually even more when we move to 2030 mm -hmm. so in terms of electronic waste is silent crisis. Mm -hmm. Most of the time EOS is tucked away in homes, offices, you know, um, forgotten corners and, and, and because people really don't know how to manage electronic waste. Mm -hmm. And um, most of the time, uh, because we have sentimental value on e-waste, mm -hmm. we fail to release them. All right. And when we do release them, sometimes we lack idea where to place them. So unfortunately, some of them end up in the landfills, which later create uh, problematic um, impacts on the environment right. and also human health. Right, just there, creating problematic impacts to the environment and human health. I want you to share a clear picture of how that happens. Because if I just throw this, eh, what do you mean this will affect my health? What do you mean this will affect the water? What do you mean this will affect the soil that we practice agriculture on? Mm -hmm. So as it breaks down, what is happening there that poses a risk to the environment and also human health? Yeah, so Electronic waste is actually a hazard waste stream. Mm -hmm. So that means when it is not properly disposed, uh, it contains uh, chemicals and different metals, heavy metals actually. We have uh, lead, mercury, cadmium uh, within electronic waste. Mm -hmm. So for example, when we, for example, the bulb at home, where do you place it when, you, when it reaches end of life? Mm -hmm. uh, it's normal that people just remove the bulb, replace it, and then throw it in the kitchen waste. Yes. Which is really hazardous because then that means that this waste is going to end up in the landfills. And when it does that, um, when, when this uh, gets to the landfills, it leaches into the soil, which later gets into the water body and then transfers it uh, to our consumption, which we drink water or we use it for um, watering our plants. Mm -hmm. And this heavy metal actually is transferred in the food chain, which ends up in our plates. And um, some of this e-waste, because we did a study back in 2021, mm -hmm. just to look at the concentration of lead um, in Dandora dump site that is leaching into into the soil. The, the results were really shocking. Um, some of the lead that the children consume around that place has really caused them to have de uh, slower development in terms of their brain. Mm -hmm. So they end up growing so slow. And you, you can imagine um, others are even carcinogenic, so they're cancer causing. So when we fail to dispose e-waste or when we hoard the e-waste at home, mm -hmm. it's not actually you protecting your asset, but it's actually uh, creating an avenue where this gadget, if it, is, if it cracks or breaks or leaks, can really cause serious damage to human health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, 
kuna mtu anakuona na angependa kuingia katika sekta hii anashangaa procedure gani ataifuata yeye ili asaidie namna umesema kwamba afya ya mtu kesho nataka iwe afya nzuri lakini sijui namna ndafuata ili nikusaidie pia kusanya taka yeah so i think first um, awareness is key and even to be acquainted with the knowledge that uh -huh. um, whatever you are holding in your homes uh -huh. or offices or all these places these things are really hazardous mm -hmm. uh, number two is to segregate your waste mm -hmm. um, according to law um, the sustainable waste management act is actually clear mm -hmm. um, we are supposed also to make sure that we segregate waste at source. Right. So do not mix those bulbs, do not mix those chargers, earphones, you know, um, phones that you want to throw away with the kitchen waste. Mm -hmm. Rather segregate your waste and then take them to designated collection points. Right. Yeah. So if we are going to segregate our waste to Nambiwa, um, put the organic waste separate from the inorganic waste yeah so if I have other plastics you know I already know what is organic waste and I'm putting it separately mm -hmm. then I have my plastic bottles nearly kunya soda mahali you know I drank water then I have my bin where I'm putting inorganic waste can I mix the inorganic waste of the plastic bottles that I have with electronic waste or do I also now need to segregate further inorganic waste in electronic iwe mm. pikiaki I think you need to segregate it because you never know, like the plastic bottle might be having water. Mm -hmm. You do not want to have um, electronics uh, exposed to dam or water resurfaces right. because then it makes like the batteries leak or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you segregate your waste. Right and then take it to designated collection points. Point. Yeah. But how possible will that be, given that what we want to do is get a karatasi moja? And that karatasi moja is going to get a So as we talk about the sustainability act yeah. and the role of policy, are we really looking at what is happening on the ground? Because karatasi ya takataka ni moja and you're going to put everything there because also I have not been given enough um, segregate this much. So as we push for people to do right when it comes to segregation, mm -hmm. is, 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 is the law, the policy also mm -hmm. looking into that so that it's efficient and doable? Yeah. the families that we are talking about. True, and I, and I think that really is, is a very good question because when you look at uh, the EPR regulations that have already been passed, mm -hmm. uh, already the government has shown the, the three colors of the beans mm -hmm. that are already out. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at uh, different components of electronic waste, others are really big, so you can't fit them. Like your microwave mm -hmm. and your fridges, utaziweka mm wapi -hmm. always mm iziweka -hmm. kwaf. Uh, mm. Bin. Mm. So that means you need to um, call uh, recyclers mm -hmm. um, like we to come and actually pick your electronic waste mm -hmm. and come and dispose them correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All okay. right. Bado ni nina ya kuhusiana na fridge kuna baadhi ya electronic waste ambazo zina qualify na ndajuaje kwamba hii na qualify kwa electronic waste. Yes, actually that is where we should have begun. Mm -hmm. Um electronic waste is something is is all electric powered mm. um, electric or electronic devices mm. that are a, either uh, powered by electricity mm. or batteries mm. so when you look at um, remotes TVs uh, cables you know sockets bulbs mm. these are all electronic waste batteries mm -hmm. um, so they are categorized into different uh, segments you have household electronics you have ICT electronics you have um, um, different like in those categories machineries that are still powered by electro uh, um, electricity mm -hmm. that are electronic waste so when they reach end of life mm -hmm. or they are el um, overtaken by time they become e-waste mm. so maybe even i could ask if you are using e-waste <laughs> hey woo! Shit has been thrown in. Yo, somebody's using e-waste as a phone. <laughs> well, well, we could be like any. All right, it's okay. Uh, by the way, right. Kutana na ilo, I'm uh, saying my vote. You are the one by e-waste. Me, if you cut in a co obsolete, sasa. Yeah, of course. Um, when these things are overtaken by time, Technology, you see, like yeah. you, they and become slow. Yeah. The the. Um, 
in terms of uh, their voltage or how they are working now becomes really faulty. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it could be working, yes, mm -hmm. but it could be slow in terms of the functionality. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now, please, when you were mentioning how much e-waste we are producing as a country and also in the continent, yeah. I want you to get back to that at the same time telling us how much of it are we recycling so far. So we are looking at Kenya, we are looking at Africa as a whole, given that you also mentioned we will produce more e-waste yeah. moving forward, given yeah. that everyone now wants to move the technology away, we can't avoid it. But from where we sit right now, what percentage are we recycling? Globally, we are recycling about 20%. Actually, in Kenya, we are recycling less than 1%. Right. Less than one, about 0.9 percent of e-waste is being recycled formally. Right. Um, which, which you can see the the amount of of, of problems and an opportunity that it presents. Right. Yeah. So less than one percent. Yeah. Is what we are recycling when it comes to e-waste. Now, mesema kunam to mali and atumia e-waste kama simu. Yo. All right. So we are taking our second break right now. When we come back, Joyce Ruto, I'd want for you to shed more light on whether we are creating enough awareness on. E waste mm -hmm. and its dangers. Ama to make familia pale kwa organic waste, you know, you know, recycling the other plastics and all natuna. So, how that e waste is actually a real crisis that is happening. How much of awareness is out there? Yeah. You'll be talking to us about that and more when we come back from this second break. You know, all of us were using 